What up, YouTube? You already know Big Lou tapping on in with what it do with Big Lou. NFC all two, baby, baby. So we over here kicking it at the park on the side of the hill. Uh, the birthday party's over, so I'm going to let these guys lo go. Let them run around a little bit here, play with the flirt pole, play fetch. Let them play with each other for a little bit. But before that, uh, I tried to drop a video earlier and it wouldn't go through. I don't know what was going on, so I just erased it and I'm re-recording it now. It's going to be a short one. This is just a reaction off a channel that I've seen on YouTube. It's uh, The guy's name is C-J, so it's C, the letter C, and then J, J-A-Y. Um, I believe he's in Canada. Um, and the dude does, like, uh, social experiments where, uh, well, one thing he does, he just goes up to the register and pays for people's stuff, tells the cashier to give him the change. Um, he also dresses up like he's homeless and holds signs and... and uh, first person that offers him some money or food he blesses him with a, a good amount of money uh majority of his sometimes some of his videos especially the shorts i see a lot people don't give him anything at all and uh they just walk by him they don't even notice him uh then he does this other one where he's asking for help he's cold he's uh, hungry nobody will do anything give him anything and then he switches the sign to free money and everybody's grabbing money off his uh off his his cardboard sign and then uh there have been some people that actually added money to that um so that was cool and then he also a lot of times he'll spend a couple hundred dollars on groceries and he'll put them there and he'll put a sign saying take what you need a lot of times you can tell who needs what the that people need but then there's a lot of times where you see people just being greedy where they'll take two or three milks and two or three loaves of bread and other things like that where they shouldn't be taking more than one to be honest they should just be taking one uh and okay if you're gonna take two take two not three and four and all that you know it just shows the greed on some people and then they catch some people you know talking and you know they're giggling and laughing so it's not even serious to them you know it's just something free given out so let's take full advantage of it which ain't cool um you know i think you know yeah our people out on the street they're alcoholics and drug addicts and all that a lot of them have mental issues mental health problems uh that's for sure you know but if you don't feel comfortable giving somebody a couple of dollars in their hand you know the actual cash then just go into the store and buy them something to eat is it, it can't be that hard because most likely wherever you're running into these people at it's a store some type of store if it's a gas station or a convenience store then go get them some twinkies go get them some some donuts go get them some chips go get them a sandwich out of the refrigerator uh, one of the burritos, microwavable, microwavable burritos. Get them a fountain drink. Get them. I mean, come on, man. Is it that bad? Is it that hard to give five dollars to somebody that's actually hungry? You don't like I said. Don't put the cash in their hand, but buy them something to eat. If you run into them at a McDonald's, at a Taco Bell, at a Jack in the Box, at a Burger King, is it gonna hurt to go get the guy four tacos for three dollars, or or two or two uh, uh, chicken sandwiches for two dollars and fifty cents? You know what I mean? Or two Junior Whoppers for $3 or, you know what I mean? Whatever, man. I, I think it's, I think when you see somebody in need like that, just give them the food. You don't have to give them the money, but give them the food, you know? And at least, you know, you try to help somebody out, man. Uh, I just think there's so much hate going on out here in this world that uh, it's just too much of it. People don't give a crap about nobody else. And uh, it's unfortunate, sad, and, uh, you know, you know, everybody's experienced something, uh, you know, some form or fashion of hunger. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, uh, if, if, you know, sometimes because your day's so long, you ain't been able to eat or something like that, you know, so you know what it feels like. You know, it might not be to the extent of some people how they're hungry for overnight, maybe two days, they don't eat nothing, but just think back to those times where you're cold and you're stuck out there in the elements because you're doing your work or you got rained on you forgot your umbrella and you got wet and now you're cold and think back to how that feels think back to how it feels when you're hungry and you can't get nothing to eat because your schedule's uh prohibiting you from doing so just think back to those times man and and and, and uh you know do what you can for people man you know i'm not saying give them a 20 or give them a 50 or a 100 but if you can, buy them a couple of little things to eat. You know what I mean? Buy, buy them a little $3 pair of gloves or a beanie that costs $5 or something. You know what I mean? 
socks are always good to give out in any type of sweaters or jackets and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It goes a long ways. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? Uh, you'd be surprised. You know what I mean? You'd be surprised how far it goes. Uh, and it really helps people. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, Big Lou, Daisy, chat tapping on out, peoples.